Pastor Ephio with the Weekly Word, a special ministry of the Word of God for young adults who want to grow in their Christian faith. Each week, we will present a short video of five minutes or less to help you grow. And this week's message is about maintaining self-control. In Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 through 27, Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Jesus stated that those who desire to be his disciples must first deny themselves and take up their cross and then follow him. He didn't mean that they would literally have to die, but that they must put him before everything else, including life itself. He promised those who deny themselves for his sake that they would not lose their lives, but in fact, find their lives. Self-denial in the context of Christianity is the ability to refrain from the natural demands of the flesh, your body, your mind, and your soul, in order to uphold the Word of God. It is the ability to say no to yourself so that you can say yes to God. There are four primary steps to maintaining self-control in your life. Controlling your heart, controlling your mind, controlling your will, and trusting God. Today we are going to talk about the first of those four steps, controlling your heart. Controlling your heart means that you must choose whom you love most, whether God and his righteousness or Satan and the attractions of this world. Satan and the world offer many attractions like pleasure, prosperity, popularity and power. But God wants you to love him and to love him more than all these things. He says as much in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 and 5. He says to the children of Israel, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And then in Matthew chapter 22, Verses 36 through 40, Jesus tells his disciples the same thing. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second, like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Young people, our Christian faith calls on us to love everyone, even our enemies. But we all make decisions about that special person for whom we reserve our greatest love. It may be your parents, your siblings, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, or even your child. That person is not the only person in the world, but you have simply chosen to love them more than others. You see, love is a command from the Lord in one sense, but in another sense, it is a choice that you have to make. God wants you to love him above all. You control your heart and maintain self-control when you decide to love God above all. Thank you for listening. We look forward to being with you next week. God bless you.